What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft. It's uh, it's, it's been a while since I've streamed. Went on vacation last week to Florida. Now I'm back here. We also had no heat today, so I was waiting around all day for the HVAC guy, and they didn't actually, they weren't able to fix it. And it's currently 32 degrees outside, so uh, it's kind of touch and go. They dropped off some heaters for us, so we can use those. Definitely taking the Lingus here. Also a Bowmaster, but I think Lingus is just the better. It's really a question of which Lord of the Rings card do we take, and, and this is, I think this is the answer. Okay, we've got Gijin, Caracas. Uh, could take a Grief. I do like Mardu. Take a Seed Shark. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Could take Remand or Monastery Mentor. This pack's actually pretty reasonable. You would take Dak over Fourth Earlingus. Let me tell you something. I've played both a ton of Dak and a ton of Fourth Earlingus. Only one of those cards wins me the game consistently. Thank you. That's not to say Dak doesn't like put you in a better position to win the game. But fourth year Lingus just wins the game, right? I kind of just want to take Grief here. I think it's the best card. Could also just take Caracas. Caracas is kind of a busted magic card. All right, we'll take Caracas. Eh, I'm going to take Mentor. No, Caracas. Uh, God, this is actually a really tough pick. I'm going to take the Caracas here. Yeah, if we did take... Um, if we did take Grief, we could have just taken Badlands here, which would have been nice. Um, considering we did not do that, I'm probably just taking a Skyclave Apparition because it's just very good. Gets rid of a lot of things. Dak does steal Soul Ring. That is correct. So, valid point. Uh, let's... It's probably just Elite Spellbinder. I don't think it's Ranger Captain of Eos. I do think Spellbinder's better, and Ranger Captain's probably coming back. Yeah, I'll just take Spellbinder here. Oh, I don't hate Tundra. Keeps us open. We could also just take Wasteland. Um, this pack's pretty meh. Seasoned Hollow Blade, not terrible. Hmm. It might just be Wasteland. What if Dak said, search your opponent's library for a soul ring, you win the game? I feel like one of those lines of text is redundant. Also, Cyborg Gooey, thanks for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. It's either season, it's either season or wasteland. I, I don't know which. Also, it could be Tundra. I'm gonna take the Tundra. I'm gonna take the card that you didn't expect me to take. Because then we're gonna get past Genesis Engine, and then we're just a Jeskai deck. Because there's really nothing in here for us. So we took the perfect land, we got rewarded with the Genesis engine, and now we can either be blue white or red white and splash the other one. I'm eating yogurt. <laughs> Girl, I fucking love you, dude. What kind of yogurt are you eating? Tell me about your yogurt dreams. Uh, Restless Bivouac is pretty decent. Talisman is two of our colors. Yeah, like this also keeps us open and you want to be open for Ancestral and Time Walk. That's what you want, man. That's exactly what you want. Elenos Strawberry Shortcake. That sounds pretty good. I'm not a big fan of Greek yogurt. It's a little too tart for me, but that sounds pretty good. I think I want to take the Talisman here. It ramps us into both of these pretty well. This is a cup we got at the... Um, it's the it's the it's the zoo in Colorado Springs, which is oddly called. God, what is it called? It's called something completely weird. The Cheyenne. It's called the Cheyenne Zoo in Colorado Springs, and I'm like, but it's not in Cheyenne. I don't get it. Scrubland. 
So three black cards, a Triome, a Scrubland, a green card, and a Mystical Tutor, huh? I guess we'll take Scrubland just in case. I don't think it's Thespian Stage. I don't think it's Nyssa. I don't think it's any of the black cards. Mystical Tutor does get fourth year Lingus. All right, I'll take the Tutor. To Colorado Animal Prison. Oh man, that's sad. Don't make it dark. <sighs> Jeez. I think we'll take Tameshi. Tameshi was really good when we got Lotus. Um, It's a two, three for three. It does some things. Eh, Gideon came back. Sure, I'll take a Gideon. The Badlands came back. That's fascinating. I mean, I don't think we're a Psy deck. I don't think we're a Murktide Regent deck either. <sighs> Whatever. If the Scrub Lane comes back, then we're just like... Look at these three drops. Then we're just like four color... <laughs> four color good stuff. Eh, whatever. Take an Ophio Man, so we got a Badlands now. Two green cards. And an Inquisition. Okay. So we're going to cut Badlands, Inquisition, Pride Mate, Ophio. Ranger could be playable. It really just depends on if we get any one drops. I think I'd want two one drops at minimum to actually consider a Ranger. Yeah, it's called the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, actually. Ho oh, ho! And that's why you spec on the blue cards. <laughs> that's pretty good. We're not even passing much. Council's Judgment would be nice if it came back. Otherwise, kind of meh. Yeah, definitely taking time walk. That's fantastic. There's a balance. I don't think we care about balance. I do kind of like Spire Bluff Canal here. Adeline is also pretty good. I think it really just depends on what we're doing here. With Genesis Engine and Gideon, I mean, I could see playing Balance to get rid of their creatures. But then we do have Apparition and Elite Spellbinder. So it's like, we're not entirely on that train. I do think it's either Adeline or Spire Bluff Canal. I kind of like the canal here. It's just another land. I don't think anything else in this pack is better than like just a fixing land. I do like a Wooded Foothills. I also like a Path to Exile. However, I mean, this is, if this was, if this was a white land, I, I think we definitely take it. I think I'm just sticking with path here because it's just really efficient. Luris also not bad, but we're not really a Luris deck here. Savai Triome. If that was a Rawgrin Triome, I'd be over the moon for it. I also do like Touch the Spirit Realm a lot. You could also get good use out of Fire Ice. Hmm. I just think the versatility of Touch the Spirit Realm is really good. Blinking Skyclave Apparition or Elite Spellbinder. Saving one of your eyes, getting rid of one of their things is really good. Wow, Gristlebrand and an Ashen Rider in the pack. Rafine's Tower. Fairly interesting. This pack's pretty bad otherwise. Jeez. It looks like we're white, blue, and splashing red. And I guess we could take, like, Git Probe. Could just take Rafine's Tower as well. It's a nice black splash that also goes with Badlands. Yeah, we can do that. Because now we have two black sources that we can get. Badlands we can play for the red source, but also it gives us a second black source. So. We're basically four color, no green. <laughs> Makes Ophiomancer playable. But our three drop slot is looking pretty rough. Not rough, but full, I guess. Celestial Colonnade, that's a late time spiral, wow. 
Jeez. I'm very tempted to take Time Spiral here and then just try to find Narset or Hull Breacher. Yeah, we're just taking Time Spiral here. It's kind of too good to pass, I think. Could also take Trumpeting Cardasaur here. I also like Lorien Revealed a lot because it does get us all of our colors. It gets us Rafine's Tower or Tundra. I guess it doesn't get red right now, but... <sighs> Could also be Rona. I think Rona's pretty good. Yeah, I think I like the two drop a little bit better here, especially when we're looting to like our good stuff. Oh, wow, that's a nice Jace the Mind Sculptor. Jeez. I'll definitely take that. Also an Echo of Eons. Yeah, we're taking Jace here. I will also take any white talisman that's in our colors. I would prefer talisman of... What's the white blue talisman? <laughs> Dang it. I wanted to say dominance, but I'm pretty sure dominance is blue black. Talisman of... I don't know. I'm trying to think before anyone says, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. It is progress, dang it. I do like necromancy here. Now Rona gives us a discard outlet as well. I mean, Council's Judgment is just better though, right? Like, there's really no reason to splash black, but it is kind of free. Oh, the balance came back? I kind of like this as like a... No, we'll just take a Fallen Shinobi for sure. I kind of like this as like a non-creature Planeswalker deck. And then we can just balance away all the guys. Ah, uh, Ashen Rider, sure. Gruff Triplets. Okay, so Wayfarer goes, this guy goes, Ashen Rider. I mean, Fallen Shinobi is just fine. Elite Spellbinder and a Fallen Shinobi is pretty good. Shoot. Trumpeting Carnosaur. I don't hate that either. I mean, that's like that and Ashen Rider are two reanimate targets if we. Oh. There is a Hull Breacher. I would ordinarily take this mind twist, but I think Hull Breacher is just significantly better here, especially when we have uh, Time Spiral. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we'll take Hull Breacher. There's a ton of things that I wouldn't mind coming back. Thieving Skydiver, Mind Twist. Yeah, easy hull breacher. Easy peasy. Hull breaching ain't easy. That just that just rhymed easy with easy. It's like rhyming Homer with Homer. You just don't do it. Flash. Also Teferi. Also Steam Vents. Well, we're not a Flash deck. I guess Ashen Rider Flash is pretty good. So is is Gruff Triplets Ashen Rider? Is Gruff, 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 Gruff Triplets Flash any good? That's a good question. So if it isn't token, create two copies. Does it die? You sacrifice it. So the other ones, it puts two six sixes into play. That actually seems really good. So Ashen Rider and Gruff Triplets are both very good with Flash, I think. This makes two six sixes. This kills two permanents. I kind of like this better. I think this is going to be stronger to build around. Wow. Minsk and Boo is amazing. Fractured Identity is amazing. There's Narset. Oh, man. I have to take Fractured here, I think. I think it's just too good. I like Narset, but we have a lot of good three drops right now. Skull Clamp. <laughs> oh, my dear friend. Uh, I kind of like Demonic Tutor here. I mean, are we splashing black? Is it even worth it for Badlands? I mean, like, I think our mana is pretty bad to just splash 
black for no for no real gain. I might just be spell pierce. God, but demonic dirt is really good. I mean, if it's not Demo, it's Lauren or Spell Pierce. I don't, I don't really care about Spell Seeker, but it does get Flash and Time Walk right now. Eh, it's actually not terrible. I don't think we're a Tameshi deck right now. Lauren has to be better though, right? I think Lauren's the better pick here. I do like a Marsh Flat. I think we're taking Marsh Flats here. It gets us, it gets Rafine's Tower, Badlands for a Red Source or Tundra, which is pretty good. And it just gives us a really easy way to play. Oh, there's Talos in Progress. Wow, that's pretty good. God, also Jace Vryn's Prodigy, though. I do like another Looter. I also do like ramping up to some of these four drops or just being able to cast one of these double white cards pretty easily. Also, Talisman is good with... Um, Balance as well. Could just be Jace too. I think it's actually just... This is actually tricky. I'm going to take Jace here. Oh, True Name is a nice little threat. I like Chart of Course. Guardian Scale Lord is pretty decent. Especially with like Hull Breacher, Jace, Gideon, Shorkai, if we put the counter on itself. Also, this is 21, and this assumes we're playing both of these guys. But we can probably cut Fallen Shinobi if we're not playing black. I think it's gotta be true name. It's just cheaper, right? Yes, it is. That's right. Uh, Brazen Bar was just a fine, a fine gentleman. Thieving Sky never came back. Unfortunately, Teferi did not, but that's okay. Wrath of God. Oh, the Steam Vents came back. That's actually very good for us. That gives us a good amount of fixing for for Theorolingus. So this is 23 cards, and like assuming these are our two flash targets, we might just cut flash. I mean, how many black sources do we have here for if we wanted to play like Fallen Shinobi or something else? Like we have Tower, Marsh Flats, Badlands, three black sources. It's not great. None of these are any good either, though. Just take Restless Vents in case we want to shore up the black a little more, I guess. Roaming Throne. We'll take Exhum, I guess. We have Jason Rona now to, to discard. We also have Genesis Engine. But then again, we like it's, it's a strategy where we have to put like three cards in instead of just one. I guess he's just playing Trumpet and Carnosaur. Blade Splicer and Flicker Wisp. Flicker Wisp, what are you flickering? A lot of things. I think you're probably just really good. Yeah, I kind of just like this as like a... There's a lot of creatures that we just added, though, which is kind of awkward for balance. I don't hate these. I also don't hate this guy or this guy. <sighs> You're out. Playing Fallen Shinobi actually gives us a good reason to like play Badlands. And we have a lot of... Hey, y'all like this flash art from Mirage back in the day? Uh, I feel like it is Fallen Shinobi, especially because you just got a bunch of guys. We just got, we also got True Name Nemesis, Brazen Borrower, and Flicker Wisp, all of which are really good at Fallen Shinobiing. That feels correct. 
Plus, it means we don't have to play, like, this whole package here and hope for... Uh, is Mystical Tutor good enough here? I guess getting Fractured Identity is pretty nuts. Does this guy count as an instant? I don't think so, right? Like, you can't go get a, a Brazen Borrower, right? I mean, this is a pretty decent selection of things to get, especially with two looters and a Jace that can easily go get it. Oh, and a Genesis Engine. So, like, on our turn, we can pay... Uh, with Genesis Engine, like, paying two mana makes Mystical Tutor a Demonic Tutor, basically. All right. Sort by color. This is pretty easy. So, you're a blue card, you're a white card, but you're also black. So we have one black card, and they recommend a swamp. We have one red card. They don't recommend a mountain. However, we have one, two, three, four, five, six red sources. <laughs> and black sources, we have one, two, three, four, four. Okay. I guess that makes sense then. Yeah, I actually forgot we picked up this Restless Vents, which is kind of neat. So that's good. Blue sources, we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. White, we have three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I think we're cutting the black for an eighth white source. Ten, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's probably okay. Oh, we get one more? Great. I was kind of hoping that was the case. All right, good. Yeah, that seems good. Let's take a screenshot so I can remember what to get. All right. All right, round one. This seems pretty good. That's a turn two, Jace. We can also protect our own Jace with Caracas, which is nice. The problem is when your whole deck is good cards, you just don't want to discard any of them, so... Looting gets awkward, you know? What is this? Cataxium Probe for, for a mana? <laughs> exactly. Okie dokie. Alrighty then. So it's that guy into one of these guys. Into this guy, into this guy. Knowing our hand is pretty good though. Don't love that. Yeah, okay. Get Probe into Wall of Roots is an interesting series of events here. A into Mock Sapphire, that's a good one. I do like that they just gave me a card for the Thieving Skydiver. I mean, fingers crossed we have a land in the top two cards, then I just get to steal it. This is a lot of mana. Elder Gargaroth. Time warp. Six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Prime time. Oh, just a hanger back for three? That was not what I was expecting. Okay, that's a thing. Can I just steal this? Because that seems pretty good. <laughs> what? Hmm. 
I'm in. <laughs> All right, we'll take this thing. That seems better than the than the mock sapphire for sure. Oh boy. Let's do this guy. Council's Judgment. I think we're just pitching Time Spiral. They have one card. Oh, a Tundra. I mean, we could actually bounce this guy. No, we can't. It's not a legend. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just play this and probably just playing Jace here and trying to lock them out. Bring to light with two colors. Yeah, I don't think they can get anything for two mana that I really care about. We should see. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> they don't even gonna look. They're like, I don't even wanna see what you put on the top. It makes me sick to even think about. I think we're fine like this. We haven't seen much. We saw like Probe, Mock Sapphire, Bring to Light. Hangerback Walker and Wall of Roots. Like, meh. This seems keepable. It doesn't feel as good as the last hand, but the last, I mean, like, I think in general, our hands are gonna be pretty slow. We don't have like a, we don't have much acceleration. You think they're gonna crack this and play a guy? Who can say? We're going to lead on Caracas because if they were lead on like Rafelos or something, I don't really want to get. I don't want to be sleeping on that. And then we can Jace and then we can Spellbinder and then we can try to find a blue in the next like three turns. Third path Iconoclast. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, all right. Maybe we do. Maybe we bring in balance this game or next game. I don't. I, the the problem is our deck is not unloading cards very quickly. So also we have no counter spells, which is interesting. Usually I'm. If I have a blue-white deck, it's we're, we're counterspelling things. Well, they have four mana, so they can't bring the light yet. Trinket Mage. Let's get Soul Ring. Skull Clamp would also be a beating. Retrofitter Foundry. That's fine. My kingdom for a wrath of God. What can we get with Mystical Tutor? I guess we can check our deck. Fractured. Lauren would be good. Council's Judgment, which we have. It's basically like Path and Time Walk that really matter here. It's also kind of just an easy loot. 
Hmm. I think I just kind of want to get rid of this guy. I think this guy can be explosive. Retrofitter is kind of slow. Mystical Tutor is a pretty easy pitch here, I think. That's going to be a... Oh, interesting. I thought this was going to be a bring to light. It was not. Well, this is a lot of creatures. I do think... I do think balance is coming in. Just because even if we have to discard some cards, it's worth getting rid of all their creatures. Fallen Shinobi. Hmm. There's another island. Okay. Well then. Hmm. Hmm. It does feel like we're a little far behind here. However, mystical into balance here would have been good. We'd have to discard two cards, but they would have lost four of their creatures. I guess they also have Chariot, which is kind of obnoxious, but... I mean, to be fair, this looks like a much different deck than we saw in game one. <laughs> yep. Everyone coming at Gideon, huh? Correct, right? All right, so block one and four. Gideon goes to one. Yeah, I can see Fallen Shin will be hitting the bricks. Thieving Skydiver. Oh, man, we're one man away from just stealing the chariot. Jeez. What does playing Jace do here? Bounce a guy. Make a guy, block a guy. Yeah, we're one shy of stealing the chariot, so we cannot do that. I kind of want to just Jace and see what we hit. If we hit, like, Time Walk, it's pretty good. Planes. Fascinating. Make a guy. Spellbinder. Portal and Battle Sphere. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we'll take Battle Sphere. Yep. 
If they do attack with Chariot, though, we can bounce it before it makes a token. They can play it again, which is kind of obnoxious, but that is... Saves us damage. I mean, they were going to get one cat token from that anyway. So now this way they get one extra cat token, but it prevents us four damage and they also have to replay it. So we do not have a wrath. Yeah, this is a good attack. Um, block here. They're at 16. I'm probably just going to keep this. But then, like, they can go 1, 2, make this. I think this is probably fine. So we take 4. This also means if we hit a land, we get to activate the chariot or get to steal the chariot. I mean, we might just be dead, to be honest. This is a lot of, a lot of guys. Tundra. Hmm. Time Spiral is tempting. What does that get us, though? Could go Tundra, Skydiver, steal this. They're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I guess they're 2 mana away from Phyrexian Portal and from Mere Battle Sphere, so that's pretty good. I think we just steal for now. They got one, two, they got a lot of blockers. Ideally, next turn, we're just going to time spiral. We can discard Jace to flip Jace. Mm. We're just going to keep our blockers up. They're going to be like, Mana Crypt. Portal to Phyrexia. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's just basically land here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all right. <sighs> this is definitely Alpha City. Um, block here. Three, one on two, 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 two on two, two. 2-1 on 2-2. On two, two. Actually, 2-2 two, two can go on 1-1. One, one. And then we take, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That seems fine. Activate Jace. Oh, that's interesting. If only I had more mana. <laughs> that's fascinating. Welp. Jeez. Well, we have to time spiral here. Hmm, boy. Oh, that's interesting. What does that do? Does that do anything? Eight damage, nine, ten damage. <laughs> Huh. And we're at three. I mean, that could just be a guy. I 
Then if they hit any land, they get to play Portal of Phyrexia, which is pretty bad for us. Does it set up a win next turn if we can fourth Eurolingus a second time? Possibly. I mean, we're just trying to fade them drawing a land, right? <laughs> they can go one, two, make a guy, one, two, three, untap, one, make a guy, and they don't have enough to untap again. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Might as well get the monarchy out of it. So if I attack with this guy, I actually get an extra token. So I'm getting rid of two blockers to make an extra blocker. Yeah, that seems correct. Oh, but it doesn't have trample though, so they just make a 1-1 one -one and block it. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's just get that monarchy rolling. And give, give a cat negative two. Mm -hmm. So we basically have to block everything. And if they draw land, we're dead. Which means it's possible that we should have time spiraled here. And there it is. All right, cool. Yep. But giving them seven cards when we're at three life just doesn't seem that much better. I mean, our out for time spiral could have been like fourth year Lingus into time walk into Lauren to kill something. Like, I mean, drawing seven cards is drawing seven cards. Fracture identity something. I mean, I definitely kind of want balance here. I also, I don't know if this is terrible against them. I think we can take Fallen Shinobi out pretty easily. I don't think he's pulling his weight. We'll bring in Balance. I mean, this makes two six sixes at instant speed, right? Or does it? Does it make? Th is it? Does it make one three three two three threes? Because I'm not sure if the triggers how the triggers would stack. Because I worry because it's all on one effect. It's going to go enter the battlefield trigger, sacrifice trigger, three three counters, but there's nothing in play. Make two three threes. Making two three threes is much worse, <laughs> I think. And in that situation, I'd rather just have Trumpeting Carnosaur, I think. I also wonder if Ophiomancer is pretty good here. I can, tr I can, we can try an Ophiomancer. Take out Mystical Tutor. Something here has got to go. You're like a two drop. Yep. 
These are all pretty good. Jeez. <laughs> are you just 41? Sure. I could I could 41. Okay. Second turn talisman into third turn. Any of these is pretty good. On the play. Yeah, all right. I like that. And then we have Genesis Engine in the chamber. Yep, you got it. I can steal that guy. All right, it's a good start. Oh, what up, CCG plays? Uh, I'm not using this for double red. I'm using this for the discard to kill a creature. But if we happen to just cast it in the late game, I think it's fine. Mm, interesting. Fascinating. Lotus Petal, Memory Jar, Third Pet. Yeah, see, just being able to kill this with a Trumpeting Carnosaur is pretty good. Especially when they just hit, like, Lotus Petal Memory Jar. Ugh, that's pretty decent. I mean, do we give them a turn with the Emery? That seems pretty bad. This has to feel, this has to be correct, right? Like next turn, if we draw land, we can play Genesis Engine or Skydiver and Jace. Hit him with the trumpet. <laughs> I did. I did hit him with the trumpet. You got jazzed. I mean, we only have three mana right now. I assume they're thinking hard about what land to play. Or they don't have a land? Oh, is that your land? No, that's your land. Okay. Interesting. You get to get only one of those is the land. So. Hmm. I don't want to play Genesis Engine if I can't activate it. That seems... We could Lauren just to kill this because they're kind of behind. It doesn't seem super exciting, though. I think we're just going to Skydiver with Kicker. I mean, they could make a... Yeah, they could make a 1-1 one -one here. But also leaving them with a retrofitter foundry while they have cradle out is not ideal. So if they sack Tribe Elder. And then we play Lauren to kill their servo. So this is one, two, three, four, four mana right now. That's okay, just don't play a Seeker's Chariot, that's all. Eh, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. I would love a Talarian Academy here. Fast Bond. Wow. 
That's got to go to the graveyard. Yeah, you have no lands. And I'm like, I will block any creature you attack with. Ooh, a bad lands. One, two, three, four. The worst lands. So I think we just go one, two, three. Go, Lauren. We'll kill one of the kill a servo token, which basically just denies them a mana. And play a Jace and attack. Now watch, we're gonna draw. I guess if we draw balance, it's not too bad. Once you have a looter in play, it's like whatever. It's fine. Oh, that's a good one. Especially with incubate tokens. Uh, no blocks. Got a mountain. Got it. Nice. Spire bluff, huh? Steam vents. Well, Spire Bluff is definitely worse than a Steam Vents here. One, two, three, four. No, I think we're just playing Genesis Engine. And then activating Genesis Engine at some point. Well, I feel like we have a lot going on, but I think we need some, like, some haymakers here. We need some things that are going to take over the game. That's pretty good. Now, where's my balance? <laughs> my kingdom for a balance here. We brought it in, right? Oh, yeah, we brought it in. No blocks. This is eight to crew. Yeah, that's a lot. Three, four, five. We only had seven. It's worth keeping in mind, though. Ooh, time spiral is interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got a lot of looks here. Caracas, what do you do? Not much. But you're still pretty good. So we'll pitch planes. I want to loot first because it lets us flip Jace. also just look for like hull breacher and take a turn yeah we can bounce lauren i think that's actually pretty good and then we can flip jace as a, as a response here yeah that's not bad
The problem with this is that if they have like the big nine mana spells, like we're kind of SOL. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and again, it's another situation where, like, we're one mana shy of, like, playing Hull Breacher and then time spiraling. <laughs> wow. This is a lot of mana. <laughs> it's a Learn Academy and a Cradle. Fantastic. Yeah, if they go Portal, it's... Yep, of course they go fucking Portal. Why wouldn't they? We can't cast this. I guess we're just making a guy. I think we're I think we're okay here. We can blink Lauren next turn to kill the portal. I think we're taking a lot here. Hmm. This is obnoxious. Block you. <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to two. What's the difference between two and three here? Like nothing. Council's judgment. Do you do anything? Not really. Sure. Get probe. I mean, that's a free card when you're at 18. Not sure what we can draw to get out of this, to be quite honest. I don't think it's restless vents. I think we do have to time walk here. I do think we need all the mana we can get, so we're gonna Tundra. Two, three, four, five, six. If we can time walk twice, it actually seems pretty decent for us. They have one card in hand. Hmm. We did not draw time walk, but we did draw balance. That's interesting. Fascinating. What can we do? We can bounce Lauren, balance, they keep one creature. How do we get rid of the portal though? That's the question. I guess we can loot. You can't bounce your own creature. Uh, Brazen Bar is target not only permanent opponent controls. I, I was actually thinking that. I was trying to figure out if, if there was a way to do that. Yeah. All right. Well. Let's dip canal. One, two, three, 
So bounce Lauren. Oh, we bounce Lauren and kill the portal. That's correct, right? Oh, we got an extra creature. Definitely didn't want that. Oh, that's so sad. I totally forgot that would give us a creature to do that. Yep, that's annoying. Two. We did play a land, right? And then we get to also keep up three. Two, three. Yeah, we get to keep up one after this, which is just not very good. Yeah, I wish I didn't do that. I was... <sighs> we just don't have enough mana to do everything. If I didn't loot, we could have kept a Brazen Borrower and bounced the one creature they choose. I mean, we have to balance here. They're going to keep probably Sentinel and Chrome Host Seed Shark. Or they're going to draw a Counterspell. Cycle. Sure. Oh man, this is so stupid. I wish I didn't do that. It would have also given us one more mana so that we can actually play Brazen Bar on something. Choose six lands you control. One, two, three, four, five, six. Choose seven cards in your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is stupid. There's just so many factors to consider. I was trying to get rid of Portal, the 8, the 9, 9 incubator token, the million creatures they have. I was also trying to look for Time Walk. Because I think looking for Time Walk would have been a big help. Um... I have four mana right now. We could lure. I think we have to lure in and kill Portal. But there's no creatures in the graveyard right now. Venier upkeep could target creature. Yeah, I guess we can wait on that. We could just lure in and kill Incubator. Ugh. Could just Brazen Bar about something. Like this blocks here. And maybe we just play Apparition on the Incubator token. Nah, we'll just play this guy. All right. This is what we got. Do your worst with seven mana and... Yep. There's no creatures in any graveyards except for Tri Builder, so they get a Tri Builder back. Which is nice. Oh, Apparition is non-token. Good call. Good call. Yep, that guy's going to make a million dudes. We have Jace, though, and we have... Alright, maybe we Jace again? <laughs> maybe we Balance again? Yeah, I don't know. This game is kind of out of our hands at this point, I think. They're also just able to unload things like they hit Lotus Petal, Mock Sapphire. Sure. Emery hits Memory Jar, Battle Sphere, Spell Pierce, and Fast Bond. Yep, that's going to be good next turn for sure. Oh, they have 17 mana in the pool. <laughs> Okie dokie. 
I'm going to hover over the... I guess they have Hangerback Walker. Yeah, that's great. Yep, that's all I need to see. Okie dokie. I think our deck is good. I just think that deck has had a little too much board presence for us. Uh, I think we just keep this because of Rona. She's going to let us pitch these lands, but also if we just get to attack on turn four, we just get to fall in Shinui. Talisman, eh? Fascinating. Oof. No land. That's interesting. Well, the odds of Verona getting in are still low. Do I just want to play Talisman here? I kind of need white white mana. I think we're still playing Rona. There, 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 could, there could never be a split second spell that drains the mana pool because like you don't pass priority between adding mana. Wow. <laughs> Fucking days. Oh, Lord. God, give me strength. God would never let me be successful. He'll kill me first. It's a great start back. Really enjoying our time here. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, I see your point. But, like, I think the situations for that would be so niche that, like, you, I don't know. It counters, like, four spells in the entire game, you know? That would make it fun. Tapping lands would make it fun. No. This is, I don't even know what's going on here. Double white card, fallen shinobi in hand. Love it. I think this is like nine white sources. Sundering Titan was discarded. <laughs> oh boy. And batter skull. Sure. This is wild. Uh, they kept a one lander. We just can't catch a fucking break. This is amazing. A white, a white mana there. We, we could just play this guy. If we had, if we had any white mana, we can play this guy and then fall in Shinobi them. Now we have to play this, but it's never getting by Hex Drinker. I mean, I'm just. I think this is better than playing nothing. I guess. What a sad feeling. I mean, all of our best spells are white, too. Fractured Identity. Uh, Genesis Engine. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Exhibit. Yo, dog, I heard you like islands. <laughs> Did you put islands in my islands? <laughs> so that I could draw more islands? Oh, man. <sighs> it's mostly them getting so rewarded for keeping a one lander in a day is like... Jeez, how strong would this have been? <laughs> uh. 
Uh, you just shut a lid with talisman. It doesn't do anything, though. Great success. Hey, you finally hit a second land. <laughs> Turn five. Wonderful. So they can get this guy to six right now. And I don't think we have an answer. A brazen borrower could do it. Nope, that's an instant, so can't do that. Uh, have yet to see time walk. Can't Counsel's Judgment, can't Flicker Wisp. Fantastic. You have Brazen Borrower. Wonderful. Touch the Spirit Realm, but we'd have to draw that and a White Source. Jace the Mind Sculptor could bounce him and then still survive. That's not terrible. Well, Balance is in the sideboard, so we're definitely not drawing Balance. Mystical Tutor. <laughs> Well, we can get a time spiral. But this guy just becomes one, two, three, four. They just make this guy an eight, eight next turn, and then we have no no real answer for it. So Yep, pretty sure that's the end. Uh that was an Oh, Jace was the next card. Got it. Fantastic. Uh let's bring in balance again. Balance should probably just be in the main deck. Fallen Shinobi we can come out. Take out Restless Vents if we're not playing any black cards. Add another white. Marsh Flats can still get Badlands, so we're going to leave the Badlands in. Kind of like Trumpeting Carnosaur here just to kill a Hex Drinker early. Uh, we have no way of casting like Ashen Rider or Trumpeting Carnosaur. Or, um,. Gruff triplets. And none of these. No, we have no way to cast these. We have one exhume, but I don't know. It's not great. I don't hate Carnosaur, but I, I feel like our deck is... I don't actually love Mystical Tutor. I think it's a little slow. I think I'd rather just have Carnosaur in here. I don't hate this. All right, we'll keep this. We have a looter. Let's see if we get dazed again. Flicker with blinking spellbinder. If we hit another white source, is good. Okay, we're not getting dazed. That's fantastic. So we can at least play Spellbinder. Would absolutely love to draw Hullbreacher because being able to do Hullbreacher into Time Spiral would be one of the dream plays that you just never get to do. It only happens to me. It never happens from me. So. Okay. I'll loot, look for another white, sure. Oh, it's your boy. That's the guy. Do we just want to play Elite Spellbinder here, though? And maybe bait out the days? Or maybe we just play around everything, huh? Who knows? We're quite a bit away from this guy in terms of mana, so maybe we just play Spellbinder here to see what they have. Yeah, if they want to daze this, that's fine. They did not want to. They said, no, sir. Chariot? 
Wow, pest infestation. That does nothing against us. That's good. Tracker is good. Um, I don't care about batter skull really. Let's get rid of the chariot. So these are their options with chariot costing 16 mana now. But actually, it's just six beta, you see. Okay. Tracker. Got it. Crack Tribe Elder. This is actually good because if they try to get some clues and crack them, we get to... Uh, This feels like an actual, actually a pretty easy block. Uh, if they want to get their land, they have to sack now. I'm not going to give you two points, and you can easily, I'll easily trade Spellbinder for this. Okay. Fascinating. Well, we want to hit lands here. That's not a land. Now I, now I feel stupid for pitching this stupid island. So that's nice. <laughs> uh, God. This is my luck, man. It's, it's not great. I just figured drawing two cards a turn, we wouldn't get stuck on mana, but here we are. However... If they crack this clue, what do they have? One, two, three, four, five. They have six mana. Chariot for six. That's eh, pretty good. Yeah, we're just taking this. Oh, we're doing it. Beautiful. You get nothing. That is a land. Funny thing is, if we had another land last turn and we had a land next turn, then we actually would have gotten the time spiral, but that's not where we are. So they have Chariot and Batter Skull in hand with Pest... No, they have Pest Infestation and Batter Skull in hand with Chariot waiting in the wings. All right, they did nothing. Talisman. Hmm. Kind of feel like jacing here. Maybe Jace bounce the tracker. What do they have? One, two, three, four, five. They can play like one card. I don't want to play Talisman because it gives them a target for pest infestation that we can't really get rid of. Uh, I, I mean, ideally, they probably just choose not to draw, right? If we play Jace, bounce this guy, we still have two blockers. Yeah, that seems correct. Oh, and we get to hit a land drop as well. That's exciting. Um, get rid of Talisman. A tundra bounce tracker. So now they have two attacking creatures, we have two blockers. 
and we know their whole hand. That'll do. All right. Got him. <laughs> the struggle was real. Uh, pest infestation. Man, not having a counter spell. Also, I feel like we're just drawing very slowly. Like, this is kind of like a mid-rangey tempo deck, but, like, we're not drawing. I feel like our sequencing is not where it should be. I guess that's magic, you know? You ever played magic? That's what it is. Uh, I don't think we have... See, like, like, like this is what I mean. Like, three really good blue two drops, not a single island. And it's kind of like... I mean, one blue source in this hand is great, and we have 10 blue sources. So our blue is like 1 in 11. No, not that, that's not correct. Uh, ten, it's 1 in 3, right? So we're on the draw. We have a 66% chance of drawing an island by turn 2, I think. Is that correct? Because we get two draws by then. First one is... 10 out of 33 the next one's 10 out of 32 i don't know how statistics work i'm just kind of guessing yeah that guy's good i will however kill it with mul multiple ways to kill that thing No island is great, because now we don't have to worry about stupid days. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to ramp them. Oh, wow. Shut up and take Is my money. That good. Oh, exhibit. Yo, dog, make up your mind. You were just complaining about all the islands we installed in your hand. <laughs> so if we balance here. Four, five, six. We have to ditch three cards. That's a lot. I feel like we could easily let them play more things. There's that island we were looking for. I think we just path this guy. They're just not gonna let, they're like, no. I'll never let you. Yeah, I just don't want to ditch a million cards, especially because like our hand is pretty good outside of the lack of islands. Yeah, that one's good. I guess we can Council's Judgment the Chariot and then... Yep, yeah, that's what we got to do, I guess. Vote. <laughs> Very aggressive. All right. Island would be nice. It puts four cards in our hand. That's a Rafine's Tower. That's actually pretty decent here. Wow, they're Vendillion clicking us in the draw step. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes you're just not meant to win rounds, like I think. I think you're just not meant to win drafts. What an absolute fucking phenomenal draw. And of course our land is tapped, so we can't time walk into like Fourth Eorlingus or Brazen Bar. It's the literal 
one of two blue sources that would come into play tapped. So that's great. Now we take three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, love that. <laughs> I love that when I pathed your guy, you got a third forest instead of a second island. That's so weird because you have a double blue card in your hand. I mean, I get that you have this, but like if I wrath, you just can't cast this guy. Like, I don't know. Kind of seems weird, but what do I know? Yeah, definitely wasn't expecting the double blue click. Off of Island Sylvan Carry Added, I guess, but here we are. <sighs> One more land would be great, because then we can actually play Spellbinder and keep a Borrower, but that's too much to ask on turn five, I guess. I mean, we just time walk and do nothing else. Because it gives us the potential to maybe play two cards. I think so. Because we can't do anything else here. I wish we could have, if we had another blue, we could brazen bar or bounce like a, a token. <sighs> like, this is what I mean. Like, I feel like our mana has just been screwed. Like, this is so stupid. Like, our mana has just been screwed all game. So now we take four. Nature's claim. Sure. Just kind of frustrating is all. I mean, honestly, if we hit a land... Fourth year Lingus is definitely a thing, but of course we don't. <laughs> why, why would we? That would be silly. Oh, how goofy. <laughs> so can't play both of these. Can't play this. I can play this for two. Is that worth it? I mean, it's all I can do. I can Lauren and kill their Thran, but then I can't block profitably. This is just sad. They top deck days. Oh, I got a days. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't it be? I mean, we're not attacking here because then we die. So, who wants to die? I mean, maybe we can come back if we just start hitting lands. I don't know. Jace flips almost immediately, which gives us access to time walk. And fourth ear lingus. Okay. Okay. We're alive. Still no land. Still in the double blue spell. That's good. I guess we're playing just Jace here. <sighs> That's all we can do. Just give me that one turn, you know? I think we're okay. Really? I mean, I'll just double block and we're just trading one for one, right? Okay. Land. Thank fucking God. <laughs> Oh my god. Jeez. So I think we're keeping up Brazen Borrower and like apparitioning something. Or we can lure in their Thran, I guess. Or we can time walk. That seems good too. We just have to figure out what to discard. Probably true name, to be honest. If we wait a turn, we can actually plus Jace this turn and then double Jace. We can go time walk into fourth year Lingus. That actually seems decent. 
We could also just bounce this guy with other Jace, which actually seems pretty nuts. All right, fingers crossed they just don't hit something big here, I guess. We're giving them one out to double Jace Tech. They have nine mana. I'm, so, I'm shocked that we managed to come back here, but well, maybe not. Oh dear Jesus. Black. This is just hard cast fault. What is this? Oh my god, come on. <sighs> Sundering Titan. Kills every one of my lands. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if we killed this, because we'd still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Like there's nothing we could have done here other than like get rid of this guy and this guy. So yeah. That's how you do it. That's how you lose every fucking game. Yep, make sure you hit everything. <sighs> Absolutely unbelievable. Does Caracas do anything? He gives us a land, I guess. Oh, Lord. Well, if we hit a blue source, we can bounce the Sundering Titan, but then we lose both of our blue sources. We can play Caracas and bounce this guy. And then they have to sack two of their lands. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can just recast it again next turn. But then they have to kill two more of their lands. I. Yeah, he's not legendary. I'm not bouncing it with Caracas. I'm bouncing it with Chase the Mind Sculptor. Jace path isn't terrible. God. I mean, if we get a third land that's not a planes and we lure in this, we're just losing two lands instead of one. Like, it's just absolutely worse. Like, I'm trying to minimize the amount of lands I lose because <laughs> they just get... It gets worse the more lands I lose. Are they trying to select Tropical Island for both Island and... That's not how that works. Is it? Can you... Oh, you can do that. Yeah, that's right. No. Yes. Yeah, they had to get rid of Forest. Yeah, that's... That is correct, actually. Um... Tempted to just bounce this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like, it's just too much mana. I think we just need to, like... Let's look at their top card and see what they have and... Pest infestation. <laughs> that's, that's really good. Um, yes, I will put that on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Fingers crossed you just draw blanks forever.
Yes, that is a blank. I accept. That is a talisman. They have a nature's claim waiting. Wow, only one land and it wasn't even a blue land. That's really sad. Um, I mean, we can just play talisman and it forces them to nature's claim. We gain four. We have nothing else to do. This and this can go back. Play a land. Play talisman. I mean, without the mana rocks, they have three, four, five, six, seven mana. Like, I can't imagine this is going to really keep them in business. Okay, okay. Make this guy. Yeah, that's what we figured you would do, which is totally fine. I mean, our hand is better, your mana is better, so who's going to win? You just need to draw one good card, we have to draw multiple lands, so... You know. <sighs> yep, that guy's fine. It's all fine. Give me, give me one blue source so I can... Well, we know it's not going to be on the top. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. Um, okay. We're going to kill Thran Dynamo here because I think it's probably the best course of action. And then next turn we get to Hull Breacher and draw a card with Lauren. All right. This guy would be great if he could start attacking at some point, but... Oh my god, this has been a game, man. Well, Pest Infestation is back in play. Okay, that's fine. We have multiple things for that guy. Plus we have Lauren, which means he can't loot. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> um, let's go land... One, two, three. No, we're going to do this. Play Hull Breachy. You and target opponent, you draw a card. I'll choose you. Great. Did I play land this turn? Yes, I played the Tundra, right? So we're going to time walk here. Okay, I feel like we're actually getting somewhere. Probably should have attacked with these two first. I don't understand the purpose of having four question marks in the chat. I don't I don't get it. Like I literally don't understand <laughs> why why what would compel someone to do that? 
Uh, I'm just going to bounce this guy for now. All right. Yep. Oh. Well, that's a thing, but not yet. Now we're just going to draw and try to hit another land, which we did. Phenomenal. So what are we doing this turn? We have five mana. We can bounce Lauren, take care of the Basalt Monolith as well. Yeah, I think that's actually probably fine. Bounce. We could also just play Apparition and get rid of the Basalt Monolith that way. One, two, three, and then we're one mana shy. I guess we can draw a card with... Yeah, all right, so we can do all this. Uh, we'll put Fractured, you back, and then you back. Play this. Finally getting in there. Do this guy. Hit a land. Bounce Lauren. This is game three. Replay Lauren. Kill the monolith. And then probably just play Rona as like a threat. I don't think Brazen Bar really... Like, what do we bounce, Jace? Oh, we just win the match. All right. Whew. Man. Oh, my God. That was only round two. How is that even possible? We're going to fix some things. We're going to bring in Balance. We're also going to take out Fallen Shinobi. I think it's a little greedy. Take out Restless Fence. Add one more planes. And I think that's probably good. I could also see cutting Balance Tutor and bringing in these fat daddies. I just don't feel like we have enough for Flash. You're kind of a two drop. You could do two mana things. I don't love Mystical Tutor, I'll be honest, but I mean, I feel like if we're in control of a game and we have a looter out or we have a Jace out and we Mystical Tutor for like a time walk, like it could be really good, but I don't feel like it's been, um, I, I don't feel like we've been in situations where that's the case. All right, round three. Yeah, see, this is pretty decent. Like, just going turn two talisman, having balance. They're going to six, though, so it's like we basically already lost with balance. Hmm. Oh, balance gets better. So if they go land creature, land, creature, yeah, this, oh, third creature? Oh, we're gonna balance, oh, this is definitely a balance. Fourth creature, they're gone. <laughs> They'll be dead. Um, 
So we'll have one, two, three, four, five cards. We got to discard three. I'm fine with discarding two lands and like council's judgment. Choose two cards in your hand. Um, we have double blue. We have double white. I don't think we need double red, to be honest. Uh, we can keep... Actually, yeah, we'll just keep martial arts. I do want a fourth land and probably council's judgment. Oh, I said obviously not stream sniping. <laughs> I do believe you. Yeah, I feel like that was pretty good. Oh, a little tippity top. Yeah, I wanted to keep a fourth land because we have a lot of... Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> A lot of four mana plays that are good. Um, we can get a steam vents here. I'm actually tempted to kill this. Like if they hit, like with top, they can just literally hit like land six drop here. This doesn't, but then I guess we got fractured. Identity. We don't have a land. So like that doesn't seem like it's worth the risk. Cause we still get to keep fractured identity and then we still get to keep the, like the, I also don't think we're getting steam vents with marsh flats. That's a good point. I uh, I think you're correct. Let's yield until the end step. We'll just get a. I guess we'll just get a planes. Oh no, we can get a Rafine's tower, which is actually fantastic. Yeah, that's what I meant. Obviously, my mana bases are usually so good that I feel like you can just get anything you really want. And sometimes I like forget that you can't do that really. Yeah, let's get a tower. That's great. Okay. I mean, we don't have much going on, but I feel like we're set up for good things in the future, you know? Here comes a tireless tracker. How does he know? How does he always know? I'm gonna actually path this guy. They don't have any cards off of it. And if by some scenario, like we draw four drop, I just wanna be able to play my four drop without having to worry about the tireless tracker. Eh, I'll take a Rona. Would have actually probably preferred a Jace here, but no, nah, maybe not. Maybe the consistent looting is better. I don't know. I would I would kill for an Ancestral right now, though. It would be nice to actually have... <clears throat> giving them a blue source seems pretty rough. Oh, that's a thing. Fascinating. Rona costs five mana and one Phyrexian mana. So five mana, basically. Hmm. Well, shoot. Land? Yay! All right. Let's do it. Give me all your good things. <laughs> all right. Well, now we can either flip Rona or just loot away any unplayable card. Five mana is pretty much the sweet spot for our deck. Any non-spell card is like 
likely going in the trash can. I mean, they're not dead yet. If we've learned anything from, from Vintage Cube, <laughs> it is definitely a format you can come back in. Which is what I, kind of what I love about it, actually. Oh, that's good. Can we draw a hull breacher? I don't really want to discard that. <laughs> is the problem. But we don't have anything to cast it with. We could also just attack for eight. And then just keep time spiral. <laughs> That seems good. I mean, the Rona effect could be relevant, but it could also just be win, win us the game as well. Like, it's just a 5... She's just a 5-5. Five, five. I mean, this is just 8 damage. Plus, we have an Oko on board, and we can make this a creature next turn. Which is 5, 6, 7, 8, 11. Which puts them to 1. I mean, this is... A serious clock. And we have an Oko. All right, that does it. Great. Brazen, mystical. Yep. All right. Man, a bunch of one drops into a balance is really where you want to be, I think. Yeah, I'll just submit like this, I guess. Alright. Oh, this seems good even even without blue mana, this seems pretty decent. Thank you. Let's keep it. Oh, J Link, what up, my dude? Thank you for the resub, buddy. Appreciate ya. <laughs> Although old old man Frank hurts my feelings. I have feelings, you know. I prefer a Boomer Frank. Yeah, that guy's good. Dang. Mystical Tutor. I'll play Caracas. I don't think you're going to be able to kill it. And if you happen to have a three mana legendary creature, I'd like to be able to get rid of it. Old people don't have feelings. <laughs> Sometimes Kurt says stuff and I'm like, God, maybe that dude is a robot. Oh, a little tippity top. Okay. Oh, wow. They're doing a bunch of things. Did they learn nothing? I mean, they have two cards. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Like, we have a ton of cards that we can play on two. Three, 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 four, four. And a blue card. So. I mean, ideally, they just don't play anything here, right? They only have three mana. What could they play?
Enforcer of Perfects. Oh, wow. That's shockingly good with a... Oh, but then you got that guy now. That's a bummer. I still have to kill... Why are you giving me another planes, man? Come on. I still have to lure in the, the Courser. I guess we could have Skyclave Apparition to the Courser. So they're drawing Chariot. And then we can Skyclave the Chariot. But then they get a 4 4 instead of a 2 2 or 3 3. It's just worse, you know. All right. So all right in. Wow. Time spiral. Oh, um, I could just bounce Lauren and block Chariot or kill Chariot. That doesn't seem terrible. Ketri is good. It lets him attack with Ravine now. Oh boy. Well, that might be the end of this game. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so long, Caracas. Oh, buddy. Well, my incentive to not block is significantly lower now. How do we deal with this guy? Council's judgment off the top? island we could play three drop into tutor for council's judgment that is an option we could also skyclave apparition to get this noble hierarch out of here and then they have just three mana I don't hate that I mean, if I were me, I probably would have actually sacrificed Cat Token to Natural Order instead of Avacyn's Pilgrim because the mana's getting quite thin, you know? Yeah, let's tutor. We'll take, we'll take six here. I'm not sure if we're blocking. Now we're probably not blocking. Yeah, that's pretty good. Skull Clamp is a card. I just dislike only being able to use uh, Council's Judgment and then just having to pass. It's not great. If I could hit another blue, I would just Jason bounce this guy, but that doesn't seem like a plan. Oh, man, Fractured. If we had one more land, Fractured Identity, come on. Ugh, that would be so good. Unfortunately, he has Trample, so we have to just go with Council's Judgment.
Don't love them being able to infinite clamp their stupid Llanowar Elf, but... No blocks. Especially because they get a 1-1 one, one, and then they can just clamp that guy and draw six cards this turn. That seems not great. Oh, Eternal Witness. What do you get back here? Natural Order? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Don't like that. No, don't like that. One, two, three, four, five. They're also only one man away from just... <laughs> this is like, what's with this mana that's happening to me? What is the mana that's happening to me? I mean, they can just top hit a land and then natural order, but. <sighs> Hall Breacher would be great, wouldn't it? Oh, boy. One island. I turn seven. Ten, ten blue sources in the deck. Hey, look, you found the six mana. I don't know what they're getting here. If it's Crater Hoof, we just lose. <clears throat> Oh, they're just activating Ravine. Okay. I guess we have to block. Interesting. I would love to double block, but unfortunately our creatures have very low toughness. <laughs> so, not great. Jump here. Block here, take five, go to one. Totally reasonable. And Hall Breacher. Spire Bluff Canal. Yeah, that's not going to do it. All right. Welp. <laughs> Game three it is. I don't understand. We have 17 lands. We have a talisman. We have two looters. Like, what's the deal? I actually think Fallen Shinobi might be better than Mystical Tutor here. Like, Flicker Wisp. We have Flicker Wisp, Elite Spellbinder, Thieving Skydiver, True Name Nemesis, Brazen Bart. We have so many enablers for, True for Fallen Shinobi. We're just not seeing them. And it's kind of weird. All right. Decent. Actually decent. All right. Give me a blue source. I mean, if we hit a blue source, I'm definitely compelled to go turn two. Uh, turn three time walk into Jace. guy yeah that'll do all right so i think we just play land here um next turn we can time walk place steam vents follow up with jace if we balance what happens we lose a land they lose a creature that's not worth it Sylvan Library, okay. Oh, interesting, no land drop. Oh, 
man, my kingdom for a hull breacher, dude. Give me a breacher. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna walk. Play a little vents. Pass the turn. Untap. Jace. Looking for hull breacher. Fourth Eurolingus, also good. That might do a number next turn. So let's hide it. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Sneaky. Yeah, Fourth Eurolingus for three when they have two mana seems good. We also get a Jace, so we can bounce their halfling even. Mm. That might have been good this turn, actually. But then we get an extra bounce with Jace at some point, so who knows. Oh, they're just going to attack. Did, what? Fascinating. Okay. You got it. So land... to the sky that seems good fourth year lingus giving you the monarchy with jace seems pretty good that way you're always looking at two new cards a turn and you put two but now you look at you activate jace you look at three you put two back you draw one for the turn you draw one for the monarchy so you only get three new cards a turn right is that how that works i don't know Math is hard, man. Carry the one. I mean, I'd be surprised if they were able to remove our human knight token and get rid of, uh, and also attack with Avacyn's Pilgrim this turn. I mean, there could be an argument between me to, to keep two guys back, but that doesn't feel correct. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Forest off the top, how nice. And then you have top off the top. Deal. Yep. Let's see if we can find a Lauren in our top three cards. Draw. Fallen Shinobi. One, two, three, four. Well, we know we're hitting top. So probably this guy and then Marsh Flats. I kind of just want to get rid of this guy, to be honest. I, I think getting rid of this guy is probably the best course of action.
This is, look at all these lands we have. It's amazing. We're doing quite well now that we've drawn lands. I think we might 2-1 this draft. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but... I feel like we're in good shape. We have Jace to recast Fourth Eurolingus next turn. No, not next turn. Well, we can get Marsh Flats. Seems good. Seems good. So we can get Marsh Flats and the card Jace loots into the graveyard, which is four. If we have any way to get a fifth card in the graveyard. Then we can flip Jace, fourth year Lingus. We do have to watch out for like natural order as well. Oh, does that do anything? Putting back two of these marsh flats. This is seven, actually. So what we can do is crack flats. Yeah, this should win us the game. Get Tundra. Probably should have done this first. Fractured this guy. Yeah, I think this is going to be game. Flip Jace. Get time walk and then attack you for a million. Two, one. Definitely felt like this deck was destined to lose. I'm glad I kept in there. Apologize for getting salty at certain moments, but it was kind of frustrating. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.